Are we in frame? Yeah, we're in frame. Good. My name is Anthony Allen. I've successfully completed the Printers Trust Charity Enterprise Challenge founded by Prince Charles, launched my second media business with the help of Access to Business, a company who won the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service, hosted a live radio show for four years, made television appearances for a Sky One comedy sitcom series known as Starlings, created videos for small to medium sized businesses in the US and the UK, and generated affiliate sales through videos I've created for companies such as EE and Boohoo Man and I'm only just getting started. And here in this video, we're going to talk about my interview, my radio interview with an upcoming star who goes by the name of Karma. So for those of you who did not know, I used to be a radio presenter, an academic radio presenter. What do I mean by that? So basically when I was in education there was a radio station that i could join a lot like hospital radio where you can learn radio and complete an elective course and basically this elective course would go towards you if you wanted to work on radio or within media in some way shape or form this is a full radio qualification that i completed and while i completed this qualification i actually hosted a radio show for four years so i completed the course and stayed on to actually host my own radio show that went by the name of the noise so within the area of my college you could actually tune into this radio station so hey i went to a college called Halzo in college and if you were in the area of Halzo, you could actually tune into this radio station and while i was actually on radio and people were tuning into the am fm sides of the radio radio within their car either on campus or around hell zoo in town uh, it actually evolved into the time where you could actually tune in online and people used to email in their questions email in their music you used to work with companies such as heart media and other forms of media radio uh, agencies and so forth that would send in their artists music and so forth and i created a show called the noise which was basically an urban explosion of different urban genres i don't know what you could cast urban as nowadays but you know r&b dmb drum and bass uh, uh bass line garage um uh dubstep all of these sort of music was was a part of my show grime music as well was a, was a part of my show and obviously having a lot of grime artists on campus or you know that were going through education or stars that i was in touch with like local stars this is where we would all come together and be a part of the show and have interviews and so forth and i had a lot of interviews within my time at HCR, Housing in College Radio. The noise was very special to me. The reason why the noise was so special because it felt like I had a stage and a platform where I could showcase my presentation skills. I could learn different sound engineering. Uh, I could um, experiment with it as well. So if I wanted to mess with different frequencies, if I wanted to use a different microphone, if I wanted to do a phone call interview with, with big artists that were down in London at the time winning mobile awards, and we'll probably talk about that on another video, um, I could do this, you know, I could do this live on air, I could do this live or I could do it pre-recorded. I also learned how to edit things live or if I've made a mistake live, how to fix that and also uh, how to pre-fade a sound, listen to one sound in one ear while I'm speaking out to the public, I was able to do this. So this was imperative to my success and my media career. Now, because this was very early stages for me, I had yet to learn more about filming with cameras and how to edit at a, a professional standard. I was still learning and I had a lot of friends that would grab a camera every now and then. Even when we were doing something special or something was going on in the radio or I was doing something outside, we would just grab a camera and get ready to start filming the magic. And this was one of those moments that I'm going to show you today here in this video and how we're going to sum up the video today is I'm going to show you one of those interviews that I look like they've been filmed on a phone it was just raw like you know part of the studio one of the artists that come to see me at the studio we had an interview live on the air and it went out and was broadcast uh, worldwide as well as in the local area the person that i interviewed was an artist who goes by the name of karma 
I think the emotion, I think the chemistry was really there. We really captured what Karma's career in, encapsulated at the time. I was just going raw off the top of the head. I didn't have a script. I never had a script within the studio when I was uh, conducting my radio show. I didn't work to a script. We created bumpers and all sorts just right there on the fly, just pure emotion. And this is one of those times where uh, the artist has come into the studio. Uh, I've given them a microphone. I've said, let's go, let's film it. I've got a friend here that's got a camera. Let's film this really quick. And I'll just bounce some questions at you. And it won't be planned. It'll be completely raw. It'll just be straight from the top of the dome. And we'll do it. And we'll create this. And that's basically what happened here in this interview. And the takeaway that can be here for you guys on YouTube is that don't always be nervous to film yourself or, or film a moment. If you want to do it, just do it. Don't hold back. Just that moment could be so special and you're letting it go if you just are too nervous and you don't want to be too nervous because you're never going to get anything done you'll be stuck and you won't be able to get your youtube channel or your media career rolling because you'll just be too nervous to get started whether that be in front of the camera or behind the camera get it done now with that said i think i'm going to wrap up by showing you the video interview of me and karma uh, you can hear my voice on camera um i pretty much i sound a little bit younger i think i think i sound younger like, considering i'm between like you know 17 to 21 at this point when i'm recording this recording the video that you're about to see i think it was around about that age couldn't have been 21 Nah, no chance can't remember but uh, without further ado i'm about to show you the interview between me and karma on my radio show the noise it was very exciting and it was a huge part of you know uh, progressing and the first stages and seeds planting in my career so without further ado let's have a look at that interview the most music for house owning college anthony allen anthony who are you and where are you from? Well, what do you do? Uh, my name's Kamal, aka Karma, mm -hmm. and I'm from Lee Bank, in Birmingham, mm -hmm. um, and I'm an artist. Ooh, right. Okay. Is Karma sort of like your, your tag name or your it's stage name? It's your stage name. It's got goals around. Oh gosh, oh gosh, <laughs> <laughs> what goals have I come to own with Karma? Okay, where, where, where did you come up with that, that idea? Was that in, in, like, through an experience? Did something, um, something trigger you? Who's yeah. your inspiration? And who would you actually say you're, you're similar to? Are you like an Alicia Keys type of singer, Beyonce? Or would you not put yourself to that profile and you're someone like... Alicia you know Keys I mean? inspires me, but I don't really think I'm, I'm really like her. Or, and like Mary J as well inspires me and Elia and stuff. But, I don't really, I won't really say I'm like anyone. So you're your you're, you're original person, aren't you? You're your own person, yeah. in a way, aren't you, really? So, if you're just going to make a song about your tag name, because I'm really interested in this tag name, Karma, if you're just going to make a, a song based on your tag name, what would it be? Because I'm thinking, there's a, there's a lot of girls that actually like squander me through Karma, like sort of thing. So I, I want to know what kind of track you would make based on your name. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's any chance we can get like like a sample of your skills right now? Can, can we can we hear some of those vocals that we're hearing so much about? What of my track or absolutely anything? Can we can we hear any of your tracks like live in the studio? I know I know we've got one of your tracks, but can we hear a live exclusive sample of Karma from Neverland Studios right here in HCR? Can we hear a sample of your voice? Or are you a bit too nervous? No, I mean, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. I'll I find myself sitting here wondering is this how love's supposed to feel like It's like a dream, a vivid dream, I know I don't want to wake up from It's surreal, but for real, and I know that we are so strong Remember when you said that you would show me how love feels like, looks like, even sounds like. You've opened my eyes to a whole new world. Oh my gosh, that was talented. <laughs> I think that's the most talented singer we've ever had in HCR, and it's been on my show. I've had Carmel. Actually, actually, let me just let me. I have to drop this. I have to drop that. 
Hells on College's own, <laughs> Hells on College's own exclusive of Karma. I hope you've enjoyed the interview, ladies and gentlemen. We have more tracks coming your way. Up next is Stronger.